Okay, last time I was talking and letting you know that I was rewriting the book and that I was going through, obviously I'd have to go through the book more thoroughly. And I'd left one or two things out and one of them was the Christmas party. This happened after the first scenario where Leonard had upset her. You're probably thinking, well, if something happened before, why did she let something happen again? I believe that she probably had a forgiving heart and thought, well, it's happened, it's over and done. So uh, I'm going to go to the party with fresh and clear mind <laughs> and start again. That's probably what she thought. But obviously it doesn't end too well. But again, you have to read the book to find out exactly what happens. But it, there was a situation I went through last week and basically I was looking for change because the machine, I wanted to buy a ticket and the machine wouldn't take my five pounds. So I had to go look for change. And each shop I went in, and this was in the West End, each shop I went in, they were saying, no, you have to buy something first. And obviously things are quite pricey. And it didn't really make sense buying something with a five pound now and I needed to put it on my, needed it for a ticket. So I went in one shop, another shop. And we went in one shop and I thought, I'll buy a lolly, no problem, not gonna cost a lot. And then I was walking down the road, looked at my hands, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, the, lo the lolly cost, it was, the lolly actually cost about three times as much as I normally pay. And I thought, you know something, I'm not doing it. And I even left the lolly in the shop saying, I don't care about the lolly, I just wanted to change. My daughter was with me saying, um, I want the lolly. And I said, no, I just want them to, I'm just making a point. All I wanted was change. Let them keep the lolly. So anyway, I went back and I said, can I have my five pound back because the lolly's too expensive. Gave her, I put the lolly down, but it dropped and it hit the till and it caused a problem on the till. And I said, oh, and the lady was annoyed with me. And I said, oh, I, I do apologize. I'm really sorry. And she said, she kept going on about how you've messed up the till. And I said, well, there's nothing else I can do. I've apologized. And she kept going on. In the end, what she did was opened up the till and gave her the five pounds. We left and uh, my daughter said, you've made your point. I said, what was that? She said, well, she just opened up the till and gave you the five pound. You didn't have to buy the lolly in the first place. But the point I'm trying to make is I apologized, but she didn't accept the apology. She kept going on and on and on, how I messed the till up, this, that, what have you. So Josephine isn't really like that in the book. No, she's not like that. Her character's not, character's not like that. She's more of a forgiving person and that's why she got into the second scenario with Leonard but how about you are you like the lollipop lady do you when, some, when someone says sorry do you keep going on and on and on about the fact that they've done something to you or do you forgive I know sometimes it depends what the situation is it's not always easy to forgive just like that this was about a lollipop though <laughs> because I've even been in situations where someone's done something to me and it's really you know hurt me and you know, I know I have to forgive, but I've had to work on forgiving. I haven't just been able to forgive just like that. But what are you like? Are you a really forgiving person? Are you someone that holds grudges? Or do you sort of think, look, let me forgive and start all over again? Let me know. Please comment on my page. I have been getting comments. And the comments are very positive and I just want them to keep coming in because it's encouraging to see that people are listening to what I'm saying, acknowledging it. They're telling me what they think about the message, what this, that, what have you. So it's amazing. But um, it's, a, it's a bit, uh, what should I say? It's not that late, but as you can see, it's quite, it's getting, it's going to get quite dark. So I'm going to sort of leave, and, but I'm going to stick around a bit because it is night. I like being in parks with the sunset sort of coming out or what have you. But I'm going to love you and leave you. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.